He's got a key to the city of Lafayette, Louisiana, but with the present company, Daniel Cormier here, I'm not sure I'm gonna go so far as to call him the king of Lafayette, but Dustin Poirier has become a UFC champion and he remains one of the best lightweights. So here's the undisputed UFC lightweight champion and one of the very best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, Islam Akashev. He trained alongside this man for years. He has every skill in the book. And the X Factor tonight is that his brother is Yeah, that's one of his, his brothers is what they call him. Islam Makhachev, though, is the guy that really does strike fear in so many lightweights' minds. He's a guy that possesses wrestling ability. He's a guy that possesses striking ability. The grappling is second to none. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so here is Dustin Poirier as we get ready to go with round one. He says he's doing less sparring at this stage of his UFC career, and that figures to pay dividends here tonight. He is trying to stay more defensively responsible. Easier said than great time on that double leg. Chef's in half guard. All oh, in transitions right into side control. There it is. Now he's going to mount. This is a terrible position. Massive shot from the top. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Makashev's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Beautiful transition. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Or guys start to attack triangle. Good work from the top here by Islam Makashe. Making all these shots count. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Dustin Poirier. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Two minutes to go. Armbar. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Oh, it gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Good work, guys. Come on. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Makashev going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. Good. You're doing fine. Stay relaxed. Breathe. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. This fight, come on. Hands high, hands high. Slips the punch. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, so Dustin Poirier with a nice one, two there. Such a good one. He's right. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt oh. him very oh. bad. And what a round! All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight Ready, is going. Fight. Ready. Round two here. Clean punch.
punch right there. Nice job by him defensively there. All right, so here we are, new round, and still not much in terms of volume from this kickboxer. You look at the highlight reel, and all these bodies are twitching on the canvas. He won't even throw a kick tonight. He won't throw a kick, John. He told us. He goes, I am a high-level kick boxer. Kick is the first word. You've got to use your kicks. You're so good at it. Why are you so one-dimensional today? I don't understand why he is not using all of his weapons. Oh, looking for the submission now. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. It looks like he's trying to get this arm triangle. All he's got to do is get to the side, get his chest down to the mat, and he'll get the finish. Oh, so how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I, I think that's a great job. you got to make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. Lands with the ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike lands. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. I mean, these wrestling transitions are beautiful. These guys are really getting after it. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running a guy over. Jonathan, he just gets up. Yep, got to be very careful there. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Poirier. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet. And a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe Poirier's head is out. Come on, let's bring him up. Let's work. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a pop. Oh, he got saved by the bell there. He was getting absolutely starched on the ground, grounded and pounded. Thankfully, the horn came at a good time. You see, gingerly, he gets back to his feet. He'll go back to the stool now for 60 seconds. Now the onus is on his corner to try to keep him in the fight. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and gotta be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. Poirier gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, big elbow. Oh, nice right hand by the chair. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picket. Go and pick the proof. <laughs> Changing the position. Excellent ground and pound there by Islam Makashev. Poirier's eye is starting to swell shut. Beautiful ground strikes land. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike. Fight's over. Islam Makashev with a huge TKO. 
So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 52 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev.